Right in front of me, but I didn't see quite what happened there. Same race comes back to the line then. Our additional rider is uh, 213, Terry Massingham. So back of the comes to the line then, they're under start as orders again. Let's rise. Takes flight, there they go, and uh, one, John Cox got left in the start. The rest of them are well into the first turn of the way. It's not this is race 18, because John Cox was out there, and uh, Terry Massingham in the place of uh, David Howe, so this makes this race 18 we've got on the line here. Jeremy Donko is running up to the line there, number 100, Judas Carl McCorby is in the second place. Going well for his first out on, out, outing on grass, as far as I know, in this country. Round they come then, and number 97, and number 97. He's the one who got excluded, walking in the middle. Number six, Jeremy Doncaster from 100. Judas Carl McCorby from 153. Tom Cooper from Mark Giles from Dave Rumsey. Then Dave Durham. Then 611, John Cox has made up a place. Terry Massingham bringing up the rear at the moment. Heading down the straight now to take that last lap flag, it's Jeremy Doncaster, Rob Judas, Cole McCorby. Two very accomplished speedway riders, and it's Tom Cooper, Mark Giles, Dave Rumsey, Dave Durham, John Cox. And two run three, Terry Massingham. Out of the last turn for the last time, there's the chequered flag, half of a wheelie from number six. Jeremy Doncaster, followed home by Junius Cole McCorpy. Watch him go in the final. He's just sussed him out at the moment, but it's Tom Cooper, Mark Giles and Dave Rumsey. Then Dave Durham, then John Cox. And 2-1-3, Terry Massingham. Race 18, sorry for the break, race 18, a win for number 6, Jeremy Doncaster. In second place, number 100, Junus Cole McCorpy. In third place, number 153, Tom Cooper. Fourth place, 26, Mark Giles. Fifth, number 10, Dave Rumsey. Sixth was number 47, David Durham. Seventh was number 611, John Cox. Eighth, 213, Terry Massingham. The winner's time is 1 minute 18 and 1 fifth seconds, a speed of 54.8 miles per hour. That race sponsored by Kemi Southern, phone numbers in the program. From the top, by number only 6, 100, 153, 26, 10, 47, 611, and 213. One, one minute 18 and one minute 54.8. Here they go. One race, uh, 17. Hope you didn't put that race in the wrong place. Round they come in, out of that turn. It's Alpha Leather down that back straight, and look at them go. Mark Taylor, I believe, that leads on. Who's gone that? Looks like Martin Williams powered right round the outside on that turn. Can he hold on to it? He goes a bit wide, but then again, uh, Mark Taylor's gone wide with him, and Matt Reed's come through on the inside. So it's Matt Reed in the second place. Martin Williams in the first place. Mark Taylor holding on to third. And look at Matt Reed coming down the outside now to try and take that first place from Martin Williams. They're locked in battle as they come round that corner. I think Matt uh, Reed has got the better of it. We'll see as they come down this straight. It's very tight stuff. It wasn't his advantage at all. I think Matt Reed had got it, but he's made it his own now as he goes around that turn and he powers now down that back straight. Getting the wheels in line quick is all important as you come out of these turns. If you don't do it, you go sideways and the others come through. Matt Reed then. A win last weekend at GTSA has whetted his appetite. He's looking for a win here this afternoon. He's got one lap more to do in this one. Instead of Martin Williams and then the Mark Taylor and Stephen van der Helm, then Darren Rolfe, Kevin Buck and Rhys Wilding. Round the last turn for the last time, the chequered flag is raised, and here comes Matt Reed, number 152, with a wheelie to the finish. What a cracking rider he is. From 25, Martin Williams in second place. Then 170, Mark Taylor, then Darren Rolf, Stephen van der Helm, Kevin Buck, and Reese Wilding. Official result in a jiffy. Didn't put that other one there earlier. If you did, you better put it in race 18. But the official result of race 17, a win for number 152, Matt Reed. Second place, number 25, Martin Williams. Third place, number 170, Mark Taylor. Fourth place, number 41, Darren Rolfe. Fifth place, number 18, Stephen van der Helm. 
Sixth place, number four, Kevin Buck. Seventh place, number eight, Reese Wilding. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 18 and 1 fifth seconds, giving an average speed of 54.8 miles per hour. Right, thank you Martin, the lineup for race 19. From Holland we have Gavin Shawman and Hessel Rima, crew number 5. Crew number 11, Albert Reisfeld and Eric Van Dyke, the German driver and the Dutch passenger. Crew number 9, who have been going very, very well this afternoon so far. Crew number 9, Sheard Roekstra and Henk Rima from Holland. Number three from France, the only French crew here today, Xavier Alden and David Chiminard. Crew number seven from the UK, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. And from the UK, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Well, they've had mixed fortunes this afternoon, but they're still there with the points. And uh, if they can maintain the the points, they probably will get to the um, to the A final, even though they had that disaster in the last race. But uh, go on, they've got uh, two rides to do, and um, it's all about getting points, getting into the, into the semi-finals. Right, the lineup. Five, eleven, nine, three, seven, and one. It'd be nice to have a UK one, two here, but um, number nine. In the bright green leathers, cheered Hoogstra and Henkel Rima. Going very, very quickly this afternoon. Very distinctive, easy to pick up. Commentators dream when people wear bright green leathers. You can pick them up a mile away, even in the dust. So, outfits come into line. It looks a little bit cramped over on the inside. Lester Goodwin right on the outside gate in this one. And he's nearest to us. And uh, to get across that first turn, you've got to go right around the outside. It's a long, long way. Brian Palmer. And uh, Danny Hogg there in the green gate, next to Lester, but uh, Brian and Danny closing up on the inside, but Lester's chosen to take a very, very wide berth, as wide as he can. He's going all to do to get from the outside gate across the rest of them. Race number 19, here we go. And the British crew come right around the outside, incredible stuff. We got Brian Palmer leading. We're We've got Lester Griffin there in second place. They're one, two at the moment. In third place is Chad Wookstra. But the Brits lead. One, two. Lester on the inside. Brian on the outside. And it is Lester Griffin who goes to the front. Second place now for Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. And through into third place. The Dutch crew, Chad Wookstra, going back at the moment. And he's certainly got a problem. Wookstra then, right at the back of the pack as we look to our left, and Lester's out, it's smoking. But he's still there in the lead, and Brian Palmer in second, in third place. Behind them, crew number three, the, the French crew of Xavier Aldrin and David Chiminard, but it's Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens who lead into the last lap. But Second place, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg in third place still, Xavier Aldrin. And uh, certainly the outfit of uh, Chid Wooster and Enko Vima sounding very, very sick as he goes over the line to start his last lap. But we look to our left, this is what we wanted, a British one two. Rest the good win. And Andy Stevens, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. Third place to number three, Xavier Aldrin. And David Sheminard. The applause to my right. One, three, five, so, if you wish to applaud the winners, you may do so. A win for number one, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. In second place, number seven, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. In third place, Zaya Allen and David Schimenard. In fourth place, number five, Gerben Schumann and Hessel Ovima. In fifth place, number 11, Albert Reisfeld and Eric Van Dijk. And in sixth place, with a very sick sounding motor, the Dutch crew of Tjeer Hoekstra and Henk Ovima. That race sponsored by John Jones, the time 126, 49.8, 126, 49.8.
Lester Goodwin und Andy Stevens, zweiter Platz Brian Palmer, Danny Hawk, dritter Platz Xavier Oron und David, und David Chaminade, vierter Platz Gavin Schurmann, Hessel Obima, fünfter Platz Albert Riesfeld, Erik van Dijk und sechster Platz Thiert Höchstra und Henk Aubema. Die Zeit 1, 2, 6 und 49,8 Meilen pro Stunde. Right, thank you, Jackie. We move on now to race 20. And in this one, the lineup is number 10, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Number 12, Yo Yo van der Werf and Marcel Schiepers. Number 8, Jurgen Michel and Stefan Muller. Number 2, Mark Dett and Gerald Ising. Number six, once again, two rides, two wins, Thomas Kunert and Herman Bakker. And number four, Alphonse Fugo and Franz Heubeluba. Race 20, leg three, European semi-final. Who's it going to be? We've just had a British one, two. Can we get Mike Reed up to the front in this one? Well, he's against Thomas Cunard, he's got a lot to do, but uh, miracles do happen sometimes. So we're looking for outfit number six, Thomas Cunard and Herman Bakker off the line. And it is Cunard from the outside who takes it up. Thomas Cunard with Mike Reed there in second place and Reed leading the pack, but Cunard already with a big, big advantage as they go in that first turn. So it's Thomas Cunard leading. Mike Reed on the inside in third place as they come off, no, second place as they come off the back. So Mike Reed leading the back, Jurgen Michel in third place with Mike Reed having a tremendous ride there in second spot. But uh, Kunart and Herman Bakker has, well, they've just disappeared into the distance. They're 60, 70 meters up at half distance. The German crew lead then. Thomas Kunart and Herman Bakker. But what about this? Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe having a tremendous ride there. They're getting press from all sides. The crew that are pressing them the hardest. Crew number four, Alphonse Fugel and Franz Huberlöber. But it is still Reed hanging on to that second spot. A tremendous ride but on the inside. Now comes number 13. But it's still close and Mike Reed's still up there fighting it out but back in fourth place as they go into the last lap. Check it flag at the ready. Third run of the afternoon for number six, Thomas Kuhnert and Herman Bakker. In second place, it is number 13. Oh, we're just going to get the helicopter to land, I'm told, so uh, we'll pick that one up. Right, um, the result of that one, I didn't mention Wayne Reed there in third place coming in as a reserve rider, but uh, we'll give you the official result of race number 20. Thomas Kuhnert and Herman Bakker in second place. Number 13, Wayne Reed. Big cheer for the left. Wayne Reed and Clive Preston coming in to take the place of Yo Yo van der Werf and Marcel Schippers. In third place, number four, Alphonse Fugo and Franz Hobeluba. In fourth place, number 10, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. In fifth place, number eight, Jurgen Michel and Stefan Muller. And in sixth place, number two, Mark Getz and Gerald Elsing. Those numbers again, that race sponsored by Clyde Cardi Haldage, the numbers again from the top, 6, 13, 4, 10, 8, and 2. Over to Jackie for the results in German, race 20. Yeah, erster Platz, Thomas Kuhnert, Hermann Bacher. Zweiter Platz, Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. Dritter Platz, Alphonse Vogel, Franz Heubelhuber, vierter Platz Mike Reed, Mark Thorpe, fünfter, nächster Platz Jürgen Michel, Stefan Müller. Und Mark Detz, Gerald Elsing, die Zeit 1.243 Fünftel und Geschwindigkeit 50,9. 
Okay. Right, thank you, Jackie. And uh, we're just looking down the programme to see when the interval is, um, whether the organisers are going to have an early interval because the helicopter has landed, I'm not sure. But officially the interval is before the finals, which is after race 29. So we're currently on race 21. That's there. Sure, there may be an advert somewhere else in the programme for these people saying exactly what they are doing, but we're not having a lot of time between races to work these things out. Well, place your bets now. Is it going to be James Rogers and Damien Jaynes, Paul Johnson, Darren Wills, Miles Simmons, Dave Hogan, Gary and Craig Parmenter, Colin Blackmore, Martin Bailey, or Reg Blackmore and Jeff Tuttleby. They're on their way to the line now. The planes are still just spinning on that uh, helicopter. These six outfits come on to line to do battle. We have the two Blackmores in these outside two grids. Reg on the wide outside and Colin just inside of him, so uh, it'll be a big battle between those two, father and son, when they get to the first turn. And the other father and son are on the same outfit, number 18, the father's number one. There goes the race, here comes the rider, Jeff Baker. Reg makes a cracking start from the outside, but it's too far, a big run around the outside of him there on that corner for him to make it. Indeed, he manages to get himself a sixth spot down that back straight. Meanwhile, on the front line of the Palmetto boys, the other father and son are coming good, but look at that uh, Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan right on his back wheel. And, uh, Colin Blackmore and Martin Bailey there in third place, having a little fight with uh, James Rogers and Damien Jaynes. Well, a little bit of dust rising there as they come out of that turn then. It's the Palmetto boys that are out in front. Colin Blackmore has moved into second ahead of uh, Dave... Uh, get it right? Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. Palmer boys go down to second. It looks like they've gone down to third, as I think Miles Simmons has gone through. Indeed, they have. They've got a battle on their hands now with James Rogers and Damien Jaynes for that fourth spot. They go down to the fourth. James Rogers goes up to third. Who's that coming in behind now? Paul Johnson having to go now. As he comes past uh, the Palmer boys. Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan have gone back past Colin Blackmore. And Martin Bailey. So the fight isn't finished at the front yet. Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan then just itching away from Colin Blackmore down that back straight. Colin Blackmore tucks in behind him. Come round that turn. It's all flat out stuff. And the chequered flag goes for number nine. Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. And I wouldn't like to say who was second or third or fourth out of those other three. I hope that the uh, lap score has got that. But Reg Blackmore brings up the rear. That was easy, wasn't it? To the line now. We look for Stefan and Carl Blythe, John Stafford and Carl Squirrel, Rob Bradley and Tristan Winterburn, John Thorpe and Terry Madley, Ian Leamis and Paul Phillips, and John Hiscock, Simon Wall. out of that first turn. They're going down by the grandstand now. Now flat out down that straight. That is John Hiscock and Simon Wall in second place. And then Rob Bradley and Tristan Winterburn in third. Piling up the points here. What a lovely little track. A lot of overtaking manoeuvres we've had so far today and we could get some more yet. It's getting a little dusty though as they go round that turn. Ian Leamis and Paul Phillips holding on to it. John Hiscock and Simon Wall powering away there in second place. They mean business as they come out of that turn, but uh, Ian Leome is not making any mistakes, he's not making any room at all. For manoeuvre. And round they come then. Absolutely flat out down that back straight. They throw it into that corner past the air ambulance. They are coming for glory. We have one more lap to do. It's Ian Leome and Paul Phillips from Johnny's Club and Simon Moore, Rob Bradley and Tristan Winterberg, John Stafford and Carl Squirrel. Stefan and Carl Blythe, 
John Thorpe and Terry Madley. Half a lap remaining then, and the Indy Amos is holding on to it. John Hiscox getting ready for the big one out of this corner. But no mistakes for me and the Amos, and he's home and dry. John Hiscox in second, Rob Bradley in third, then John Snappers. Stefan Blythe, John Thorpe. Official result in a moment. At the top of the page, not the race you've just seen. A win there for number nine, Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. Second place to number 25, Colin Blackburn and Martin Bailey. In third place, number four, James Rogers and Damien Jaynes. In fourth place, number seven, Paul Johnson and Darren Wells. In fifth place, number 18, Gary and Craig Parmenter. In sixth place, number 26, Reg Blackburn and Jeff Tuttleby. The winner's time was one minute and 25 seconds precisely, giving an average speed of 50.4 miles per hour. 25, 4, 7, 18, 26, 1 minute 25, 50.4 miles per hour. He's ain't got many of them flags left. You ought to get in quick, people, if you want one, because he ain't got many left there. There's only about six. So his time was 1 minute 25 seconds precisely, and 50.4 miles per hour. So uh, I get the uh, feeling that uh, that's very, very, very going to be close in that final, you know, with the identical heat times there. We look now for the 500cc sidecars leg three. And uh, Brian's gone off to have a word with the air ambulance, and uh, he's left me with the 500cc sidecars to contend with. Oh, everybody says you're going up that ladder with a pint of beer. You're not trying to get the referee drunk, are you? Race 23 then comes to the line. Let's see if I can get in line with this line and just see what goes on here. Because the straw bales are in both Brian and I's way when we sit next to each other. But I can just get my head there. I can just sink nicely down that line now. Those outfits come over the line then. Simon Beard, Barry Bennett, Andy Kerrison. Brian Willis, Tony Stark and Rob Wright. They're all sitting there nice and neat like them soldiers and off they go down the first straight. No rolling on that one as they power around it. Oh, someone's gone wrong in the corner there. Two outfits are over. The red flags are up. Oh, and the bike's off on its own. Well, oh, the race there obviously being stopped in the interest of safety, but I can see through. I see all four of the riders are up and OK. So, uh, That'll be up to our clerk of the course, whether he thinks that's first Ben Bunching or whether he wants got anybody to blame for that. I want the job of clerk of the course myself I'm today. Cut him out. Sitting here talking about it's no problem to me. Race 24. Till I get those foreign names in a minute. Race 24 then coming to the line. We look for Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes, Brian Canning and Steve George, Dave Carter and Steve Ashby, Paul Moorcock, Scott Dunn, Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister, and Gary Ball, Debbie Burton. Dark Marshall says, come on, get into line. So into line they come. Six outfits in and ready. Trying to get my eyes in line. Well, they're not quite sitting there like little soldiers yet. Star Marshall happy. He walks away. There go the tapes and lovely clean break. And down the first straight they go. Into the first turn this time, and it's a nice clean first corner as they all power out of that turn. Down the straight they go then. Looks like Paul Walcott was leading. But he looks like he's being overhauled as they go into that turn, but they're side by side, those outfits, and the angle can be uh, telling, but they're through comes. Number 41, Chris Salisbury, on one, two, three. Paul Walcott from Brian Kenny. That's how they go on uh, this lap, but what they do on the next lap is entirely up to them. Down the straight they go then. Chris Salisbury is that leads. Paul Moorcock is right there in second place. 
always at my Paul Moorcock, he's uh, always a clean rider and he's always in there and trying and pushing hard. And always drink the fruit of what he sows, but he's always in there and trying. And he's in second place at the moment in very, very good company indeed. There's no, uh, no shame in being second in this race, I can tell you. Chris Salisbury leads it. So he gets the grip on the ground and powers down the straight. And there's the last lap flag. One more lap to go there. One more hot from Ryan Canning from Keith Richards from uh, 189. Gary Ball and Debbie Bird. One of our lady passengers on that outfit. Round that turn then by the pits for the last time. The checkered flag is out. It's 41. Chris Salisbury. Got one, two, three, three more cops from the... Keith Richards, Brian Canning. Official result in a jiffy. At the bottom of the programme. I am trying not to get your programmes ruined like mine normally gets. I'm only trying to look after you. Race 24, a win for number 41, Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes. Second place, number 123, Paul Moorcock and Scott Dunn. Third place, number 143, Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister. In fourth place, number 49, Brian Canning and Steve George. In fifth place, number 189, Gary Ball and Debbie Bird. And in sixth place, number 67, Dave Carter and Steve Ashby. The winner's time, 1 minute 28 and 2 fifth seconds, giving an average speed of 48.5 miles per hour. Going to the line there. I see number seven, Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Number ten, Clive Willis and Boy Wonder, Richard Webb. And it's 23, Tony Stark and Darren Wood, and 33, Rob Wright and Roland Meredith making up a full lineup of six for race 23. Oh, Boy Wonder making sure he's going to get some traction out of that rut. They're just clearing out the loose. Dropping the back wheel in, making it sure it's all square. And up in the air, got to get it into gear. They're happy. The starter's happy. No, somebody's rolling. Oh, look at that. Nearly got it. He was going backwards, but he managed to get out of the gate okay. And up into second place on the first turn, that was uh, Tony Stark and Darren Wood. But he's not in front. Down the straight they go. It looks like Clive Willis and Boy Wonder that have made it to the front. As they power out of that turn, they got the grip on the ground and they are coming forward. It's number 10, Clive Willis and Richard Webb from number 4, Simon Beard and Stuart Supple. Then Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Oh, no, they're, in, they're, they're only in fourth place. Who's that side by side? I can only see one outfit when I was talking. That's how close they were together. You could have put them both in the back of a transit van. Here they come then, number 10. The old, old problems that Tony Stark would Tony Stark go over. As if they're okay. Problems there for that one, and the uh, red flags are a flying. The sirens are a hooting, and that race being brought to a stop. Well, uh, if we're going to put that one back on the park firm now and uh, bring out another, or whether there'll be a hold up. Clive Willis and Boy Wonder thinking, oh, we've nearly had that one done. We've got to go and do it all over again now. And more. Martin, while you've gone quiet, can I just check this radio mic out? And uh, can you answer me that uh, it is coming over loud and clear? And uh, when I get a break, or when you get a break, um, I would like to have a word with uh, Captain Steve Wrightson, the uh, pilot who flies the air ambulance. So can you just convert to me that it's coming over okay? It sounds all right from here, but I am quite a way away from the receiver. Race 25, the International 5 and 6 solos. The red drive, safe line, there they go, in to help the first straight. Who's it going to be? Jeremy Doncaster got the best of it from the start. He powers away and up goes the yellow flag. We have two to marks tangled there together. Wouldn't look like John Cox, or it could be Paul Knott. Certainly blue leathers. Paul Knott, as uh, John Cox wasn't in that race, so that race being stopped in the interests of safety. I can see number one, Jason Bunyan, number six, Jeremy Doncaster, number seven, Gareth Hickmott, 95, Jason Handley. So that means that those are possibly Darren Rolfe and Paul Knott. Well, 
Darren Rolt looks as if he's up and OK, and uh, Paul Knott looks like he's been up and is on his knees at the moment, getting his breath back. I think both those lads will be all right. Another Clark the Course decision, please. And are we going to put this one on the park firm and bring back the sidecars? And also aircraft. Yeah, that's correct. I started flying uh, back in the 1970s uh, with the military, and since then, leaving the forces in the early 80s, I've uh, flown worldwide on uh, North Sea and South Atlantic operations, uh, jungle, mountain, various types of operations. Uh, so it's, you have to have the background, obviously, to be able to cope with the, the outside pressures of the job and lateral thinking in terms of what's going on on the ground. Uh, in other words, you cannot afford to be thinking how to fly the helicopter. You have to do it without thinking. Yeah, what, one thing, I mean, you uh, attend in emergencies all the time. I know the helicopter's been called out three times today. Um, when you go to um, an incident, uh, do you personally choose where to land the uh, helicopter? That's correct, Jet. It's the, uh, the pilot's decision where to land every time, um, because ultimately the, the buck stops with the pilot, and um, should it go wrong, it's down to us anyway. So we make sure that we choose the correct and most appropriate and safe landing spot with respect to the incident itself. Yeah, you say we. Uh, I think you have a... Is it a crew of two as well as yourself on board? That's correct, yeah. It's a crew of three, and um, the two paramedics that fly with me, and occasionally we have a doctor that flies with us. And uh, when we go on a mission, we actually act uh, very very much as a, a three-crew situation. Um, but ultimately, the decisions are obviously made by the aircraft captain. One minute, 24 and three-fifths seconds, a speed of 50.7 miles per hour. Winner's time of race 20. Just give you a moment to turn back on that page if you want to, race 20. The winner's time was 1 minute 24 and 3 fifths seconds, a speed of 50.7 miles per hour. This then should be race at 23. We have Clive Willis with the boy wonder, Richard Webb, who uh, were leading the race at the time of the stoppage. All outfits have been allowed back in as they couldn't pinpoint the problem to any person in particular, just a, a bunching coming out of the corner. So the clerk of the course has allowed all riders back in. So we now look for Tony Stark and Darren Wood, Rob Wright and Rodan Meredith, Andy Kerrison and Laura Kerrison, Barry Bennett and Steve Tom, Tom Beard and Stuart Supple. The revs rise and away they go. All six outfits are out there as they go into that first turn again and there's number four that seems to be leading out of that corner and down that back straight. It's Simon Beard and Stuart Supple that have got the lead at the moment from Clive Willis and Boy Wonder Webb in second place. Can Clive Willis and Boy Wonder do anything about this? They're all very close together again coming round that turn. someone has gone very wide. That's 23. Uh, Darren Stark, 20 Stark and Darren Wood. On the front line though, through they go, it is the Boy Wonder crew with uh, Clive Willis and Boy Wonder Webb in the chair there, moving up into first place. Look at this battle as they come into that pitch turn as our man, Mr Beard, wants that first place back again. It's all tight stuff, but they're coming down that straight. It's number 10 with leads. Clive Willis and Boy Wonder. From number four, Simon Beard and Stuart Supple. Into the pits turn again, they've got themselves nicely spread out now, then none of them really too far away from doing anything, but uh, none of them looking grave danger. It is number 10, Clive Willis and Boy Wonder that go around in first place, with uh, Simon Beard and Stuart Supple right in there in second place, and going for it. And it's Andy Carrison with Laura Carrison, his daughter in the chair. And it's all systems go to the chequered flag, and it's number 10. Make it first place, drop number four, then number eight, 23, seven and 33, official result in a jiffy. The 500cc sidecars, leg three, was a win for number 10. That's uh, Clive Willis and Richard Webb. Second place, number four, Simon Beard and Stuart Supple. Third place, two, number eight, Andy and Laura Kerrison. Fourth place, number 23, Tony Stark and Darren Wood. Fifth place, the number seven, Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Sixth place, the number 33, Rob Wright and Ronan Meredith. The winner's time was one minute 27 and two fifth seconds, making an average speed of 49 miles per hour precisely. 49 miles per hour precisely. From the top then, 10, 4, 8, 23, 7, 33. Moment at 27 and 2 fifths, 49 miles per hour. That was race 23. Over the page then, over the page again. Seems wrong to go past all those advertisers, doesn't it, without giving a mention. AGS Scaffolding Limited, 
Limited's the best in the business. BKS Stone Limited, Stone Cleaning and Restoration Specialists. BSIS Telecoms Limited and Dunmo Design and Print. That's given them all a mention. Sorry I can't do any more chaps, but uh, the race is on the line for race 25, the International 500cc Solos. Race 25. We look for Paul Knott, Darren Rolfe, Jason Bunyan, Kevin Buck, David Durham, Jeremy Doncaster, Jason Hanley and Gareth Hickmott. This is for the second time of asking. The rest rise. There. Jeremy Doncaster's away clean as a whistle as he goes out of that corner and down that back straight. Jason Bunyan is right on his back wheel. Jeremy Doncaster, Jason Bunyan, Jason Handley, what a line-up in this race. Good, uh, look at Jeremy Doncaster, as he comes out of that corner. And Jason Bunyan right there with him. Is he taking the mickey out of Jason, saying, look, I'm going to wheel you and still stay in front of you? Or did he just get that bit of drive he didn't expect? Jeremy Doncaster, leading. Jason Bunyan, Jason Handley, Gareth Hickmont. Here they come, from within the air again, six. Jeremy Doncaster from, oh look at Jason Bunyan, he's going to go fast in this time for sure, no he's not, he's right out on that corner and he's really going for it. We've got six, Jeremy Doncaster leading, we've got Jason Bunyan in hot pursuit in second place. As they come out of that turn side by side, the last lap flag is out and Jeremy Doncaster pulls a few yards clear, but uh, Jason Bunyan hasn't given up yet. He's pushing hard. Jeremy Doncaster looks like he's lost it this time and through goes Jason Bunyan number one, but number six is firing back on all four cylinders. It's only a single cylinder motor bike, you fool. Here they come then, to the finish line. Who's it going to be? It's one, Jason Bunyan from six. Jeremy Doncaster from Jason Hanley from Gareth Hickmott. 41, Darren Rolfe. 47, David Durham. And bringing up the rear, 29, Paul Knott. Official result in a jiffy or two. CC Solos, a win there for number one, Jason Bunyan. Second place, number six, Jeremy Doncaster. Third place, number 95, Jason Handley. Fourth place, number seven, Gareth Hickmott. Fifth place, number 41, Darren Rolfe. Sixth place, 47. David Durham, 7th place, 29, Paul Knott. No 8th finisher, the winner's time, 1 minute 19 and 2 fifths seconds. A speed of 54.1 miles per hour. Would that kind PA young lady of mine bring me a, a, a can of drink, please? I'm croaking. Race 25 from the top, 1, 6, 95, 7, 41, 47, 29. 1 minute 19 and 2 fifths, 54.1 miles an hour. This is race 26, the international 500cc solos. Featuring Stephen van der Helm, Ron Holland, Justin Elkins, Dave Rumsey, Steve Dorr, Martin Sturgeon, Matt Reed, Judas Colma Corby from Finland, and Reese Wilding. Trying to get a good line up there this line to see if anybody's rolling. All still at the moment. There they go. Catapulting over the start. It's the first turn they go. Nord to 60 in about three seconds, and they're flat out out of that turn. Stephen van der Helm, I can see, is uh, familiar that as in third place. It uh, looks like Matt Reed just gone into the front. Tell you when he comes out of this turn. Oh, well, that's very close there coming out of that turn. But no, it's Judas Carl the third from Stephen Moore from uh, that other fella, Martin Standit, Surgeon. And they're coming round there all hell for leather. Where's Matt Reed in that lot then? I think Matt Reed's just moved his way up into third. Expected him to be at the front. So he's just moved into fourth. Justin Elkins then. But it's 100. Thomas Corby in first place, followed by Stevie Dorr, followed by Matt Reed, Martin Sturgeon, Reese Wilding, Stephen Van der Helm, and uh, Dave Rumsey at the back. Find these things hard to believe. Well, he's not at the back, because Justin Elkins is at the back, but he goes off with problems. And there's 100, Thomas Corby leading He's going to win his first race on the grass here at High Easter. If he rides like this, I'd like to see a bit more of him. Always a fair and square rider, much loved by the Eastbourne and East Bipswich fans. And here he comes round that turn, and down goes Stevie Dawes. Stevie Dawes lost it. 100, Judas Carwell Corby takes the chequered flag from 152, Matt Reed, from Reese Wilding, Martin Sturgeon, Dave Rumsey, Stephen Van der Helm, and can you believe Steve Dawes' luck?
That race 26, the International 500, is a win for number 100, Judas Cole McCorby, who rides for Arena Essex, as I said. And in second place, it was 152, uh, Matt Reed. In third place, it was number 8, Reese Wilding. Fourth place, 15, Martin Sturgeon. Fifth place, number 10, Dave Rumsey. Sixth place, 18, Stephen Van der Helm. And seventh place, 110, Stevie Dorn. And when it's time, 1 minute 19 and 3 fifths, 53.8 miles an hour. And here we go again. Race 27, they powered out of the first turn. Tom Cooper making a good start there, but he's only about fifth there out of that quarter. Down the back straight they go. Looked like Mark Taylor that was leading, but who's that that's gone past him? It looks like Martin Williams. I must get some glasses, I think. Here they come. Oh, right, it's Martin Williams and uh, 170 Mark Taylor. Then John Cooper, then John Cox. Then Kevin Buck and Mark Giles, and then 150, Bevan Gilbert, Jarrett, and 213. Terry Massingham bringing up the rear. Around they go then. I oh, bet that's good down on that uh, grandstand. I'll have a look at that myself one day. Here they come then. 25, Martin Williams from 170. Mark Taylor, then Tom Cooper, then John Cox, Mark Giles, Kevin Buck, Bevan Gilbert, Jarrett, and 213, Terry and Massingham. Wide line for Martin Williams. 170, Mark Taylor waiting for a mistake. Martin Williams really going for it. He's done a bit of grass, went off to the speedway and come back to his grass roots. And he's doing very well indeed as he leads this one. As they power into the last turn for the last time, they reach the apex of the turn and now they power out of it. It's Martin Williams that leads in this time. It's Sir Mark Taylor that's taken the white line. First and second to those two. Then John Cox, then Tom Cooper, Richard Watts, Mark Giles, Terry Massingham and uh, Bevan Gilbert Jarrett. Could numbers 25 and 170 report to the clerk of the course, please? 25, Martin Williams, 170, Mark Taylor. Could you report to the clerk of the course as soon as possible, please? Just been told that we've actually got a dog sitting at the side of the course, nicely behaving itself, not being nasty to anybody, but it's not on a lead. Now, one of the big things at grass track is that all dogs have to be on leads. It was up here in Essex many years ago that I saw a Jack Russell run across the racetrack as the riders left the line. Two of those motorcycles hit that dog. The dog did survive. That was more luck than judgment. We don't want to see it happen again. It could have caused those bikes to collide and cause a very nasty pile-up. So please, I'm not picking on anybody, but put that dog on a lead. Thank you. Martin Williams. In second place was number 170, Mark Taylor, and in third place was 611, John Cox. Fourth place was number 153, Tommy Cooper. Fifth place was 155, Richard Watts. Sixth place to 26, Mark Giles. Seventh place to 213, Terry Massingham. And eighth place, number 150, Bevan Gilbert Jarrett. The winner's time was 1 minute 21 and 2 fifths seconds, a speed of 52.7 miles per hour. Race 27 is a... Race 27 then, by number only 25, 170, 611, 153, 155, 26, 213 and 150, 1 minute 21 and 2 fifth seconds, 52.7 miles per hour, that race sponsored by Edmund Carr. Previous race sponsored by D. Gowan and the race before that was Walker Cranes. Thank you Lance for sponsoring us and I hope that we can return a little bit of business for you. European sidecar semi-final. This is where you realise I can't speak German. We're looking for Thomas Kunert and Herman Backer. Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. Alphonse... <laughs> should have waited, shouldn't I? Alphonse Flugel and Franz Hobbelweber. Number 12, Yo-Yo van der Werf and Marcel Schippers. I'll wait for this one. Number 1, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. And number 8, Jürgen Michael and Stefan Muller.
Well, that's the best I can do with these foreign names. I know Brian's absolutely fluent in 99 different European languages, and I'm not, but that's the best I can do. Watch me muddle them up as they go round the track. Those riders now then coming into line. Two races away from the interval. Be time to go and get yourself a burger. Could be time to get an ice cream, if there's an ice cream van. Could be time to take your programme and get your favourite rider to sign it. Or even your Union Jack, as Brian said earlier. You know, what, one of them, what would one of them be worth in a few years' time, signed by each of the international riders here today? You think about it, then you invest a pound in that Union Jack, if you can get one. Race 28 is on the line, and away they go. It's a cracking good start there as they go down the first straight. Then Lester Goodwin is in second place as he goes around that turn. Down the back straight they go then. That looks like a number eight in front, although I think it should be a number six. I'll wait till it comes round. I can't read from that distance. Need some young eyes in here. Tell me who it is. And they come down the straight then. It is six for Richard Earth at least from number one. Oh, to Goodwin and Andy Stevens in second place, piling up the points to be in that A final this afternoon. That's where they need to be. Points make prizes, and here they come. Out of that turn, it's Tommy Knurt and Herman Bakker from uh, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Then Ras Palmer and Danny Hogg alongside number eight, Jurgen Michael and Stefan Muller. As they come out of that turn, it's all hell for leather. Raz Palmer's holding on to that third place, Lester Goodwin in second place, they're a Britson two and three and they want to stay there comfortably. Out in front is Tommy Knurt. I forgot how many times was, well, your European champion he's been already. But it doesn't look like anybody's going to touch him this year, does it? As he goes down that back straight. So much more power than all the other outfits, it's almost incredible. Here they come then, up to the chequered flag, it's going to be number six, Tommy Knurt that wins it. Oh, that's the good Andy Stevens in second. Ras Palmer and Danny Hogg in third. The Brits are second and third. Then it's number eight, Jurgen Michael and Stefan Ruler. And I think number four, Alphonse Flugel and Franz Hubble Hubba. Not that I can say that. But Jackie can, and she's standing next to me laughing. It's funny, women always laugh. For number six, Tommy Knurt and Herman Bakker in second place was number one, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. I'm quite cocky with that, because I can say it. And in third place, number seven, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. In fourth place, number eight, Jurgen Michael and Stefan Muller. And in fifth place, number four, Alphonse Flugel and Franz Hubble-Hubba. The winner's time, one minute, 24 and one-fifth seconds, a speed of 50.9 miles per hour. Quickly excited car, semi-final, leg four. We look for number 11. Albert Ragsfield and Eric Van Dyke. Number nine, Tiert Hoekstra and Henk Avima. And in ah, number ten, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Number five, Gerben Sherman and Hessel Avima. And number three, Xavier Orin and David Schimanard. And uh, number two, Mark Detz and Gerald Elsing. That's the line-up for race 29. They're making their way to the line now. Number 10, edges to the tape. Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe hoping to do well in this one. Off in line with those those wheels. Can't have no cheating now, can we? Look at that, then a star marshal stands in your way, that's clever. So the revs rise then for race 29, they're under starters orders. Everybody looks happy, starter walks away. There they go, down the first straight, an even break as they get into that first turn. All lining up there, bunching up on that corner. Ooh, they just got round us. Two seem to be locked together there. I think one stopped and the other one ran into him. And uh, the race is continuing at the moment, but the back three have stopped and the clerk of the course is saying enough's enough. We'll have the red flag. So the red flag is out. Red flashing lights and sirens. And uh, race 29 will have to be rerun. 
Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe, Jervin Sherman and Hesso Avima, Xavier Orin and David Shimonard, and Mark Detz, Gerald Elsing. This race is sponsored by John Jones, 0161 483 9316. Speed track and speedway riders plus top 1000cc sidecar teams. Monday the 25th of August, the junior poacher plus adult racing. Sign posted for the B1195, A52, A16 and A158. Free camping from the 20th to the 27th of August. More information, www contingent there as well. And I'll be quiet about that now, get this one out of the way, and then we'll go into the interval. Time for you to sample the beer tent, sample the caterers. Don't know if there's a, a, an ice cream van or not, I assume it must be in a super event like this. And uh, perhaps you can have a little chat with your favourite rider, find a blast from the past. There's several here this afternoon. Lovely to see these grass trackers still actually go to a grass track. The riders then come to the line for race 29, not cloud number 9. I can get my head in the right place. We've got two riders over there. We've got one, two, three, four here. So it looks like all six are raring to go. Trying to start as happy. He walks away. The revs rise. And they go. No clean break there. No rolling. No messing. Absolutely. Uh, Dynamite stuff as they go down the uh, around that first turn, power out of that corner and down that straight, and away they go. Sounds like they know who they are. It looks like number 10 that's leading, is it? It is, it's number 10. It's Mike Reed and Mark Fair for England. He's just making me dribble easy, isn't he? I love that bloke. I'm going to buy him a pint later. Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe then down the back straight, leading all and sundry. There behind him. As they come round that pit's turn, he's actually extending his lead a little bit on this lap. And he squirts on that throttle one more time. It's number 10 that leads from number 11 in second place. And then, of course, is Albert Racefield and Eric Van Dyke. No, they don't seem to have any answer to number 10, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe in this one. Is he on his way to the A final? That's what we need to know. We'll get the uh, points scored so far in the interval and let you know what the situation is. Here they come. Number 10, Mike Reed and Mark Paul. From number 11, Albert Racefield and Eric Van Dyke. That is two green men and I didn't quite catch the number. Sorry, I'm not really up on these uh, international foreign riders, but I am doing my best. Round they come. Number 10, Mike Reed and Mark Paul taking the checkered flag. What a win for England that is. From number 11 in second place, then number 9, that's Ted Hookstra and Hank Ovima. We'll I'll wait the official result of race 29. Then we'll go into the interval. Time to catch up on some gossip, hear some adverts, and uh, I've got to do things. Track. A win for number 10, all, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Incredible. Oh, we get the results. We'll just, uh, Second place to number 11, Albert Racefield and Eric Van Dyke. Third place to number 9, Tiard Hoekstra and Henk Ovima. Fourth place to number 2, Mark Detz and Gerald Elsling. Fifth place to number 3, Xavier Orin and David Shimonard. And in sixth place, number 5, German Sherman and Hessel Ovima. The winner's time was 1 minute 27 and 2 fifths seconds, a speed of 49 miles per hour precisely. Number only, 10, 11, 9, 2, 3, 5, 1 minute 27 and 2 fifths seconds, a speed of 49 miles per hour. And over to our glamorous assistant to do this in German. And Dave Hogan, 183, Ian Lee Amis and Paul Phillips. Number 7, Paul Johnson and Darren Wills. 184, John Hiscock and Simon Wall. 87, Rob Bradley. 
and Tristan Winterburn, and 25, Colin Blackburn, and uh, Martin Bailey. He's had a surely good win, that's his wife, 30, um, yesterday or the day before. Also 30 on Friday was Mark Taylor, of course, so um, we're all getting older. So happy birthday to those two. <laughs> Come the line then for the thousand cc right hand side car final. We look for nine Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan 183. Ian the aim is in Paul Phillips, number seven Paul Johnson and Darren Wells 184. John Hiscock and Simon Wall 87. Rob Bradley and Tristan Winterburn and 25. Colin Blackburn and Martin Bailey. I think they're all there. They're up the start of the orders. The rest rise. Take fire. There they go. And Eagle Flake as they go down into the first turn. And Ian Lee Amos unfortunately spinning a bit at the start there and uh, losing a bit of ground. Who's on the front line? It's Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan, the ones who obviously started favourite on top points going into this final. And they scorch into that turn at the top of the field there. Winding up the throttle and powering down the straight. Look at Rob Bradley coming up on the inside. He means this. Look at Paul Johnson hanging on the second place at the moment, trying to go around the outside of Miles Simmons. A little bit of dust there, can't quite see what's happening. As they come out the other side, it's Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. And it's... Uh, Rob Bradley and uh, Tristan Winterburn in second place and Paul Johnson powering around the outside trying to take that second place back from them. Rob Bradley now goes after the winner. They slide wide on that corner and they come in. Paul Johnson gets the second place back again. Can he hold it? Can't see a thing. Here they come then, out of the corner. Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. Looks like it's Paul Johnson again that's made that second place and he's pushing now on Miles Simmons' back wheel as they come around that turn. Then it's Rob Bradley in third, then it's Colin Blackwell in fourth, Rob Bradley goes wide. Colin Blackwell and then Ian is making up a bit of ground. John Hiscock looks like he's decided not to uh, not to partake in this or he's going to drop to the back where he can actually see. He's right in the worst of that dust. There goes the leader. It's Paul Johnson now. See what I mean with this dust? Round they come, out of the turn, it's number seven. Paul Johnson leading a Miles Simmons trying to come to the Paul Johnson takes it the second flag from Miles Simmons, from Rob Bradley, Ian Lee is Colin Blackmore. The official result in a moment or two. John Hiscock completes race distance. Some of the riders are coming around doing a bit of a lap of honour. Here comes the winner himself. Paul Johnson and Darren Wills. A good race for them and they look happy with that. Race 30, the 1000cc right hand sidecars. A win there for number seven, Paul Johnson and Darren Wills. Second place to number nine, Miles Simmons and Dave Hogan. Third place, number 87. Rob Bradley and Tristan Winterburn. Fourth place, number 183, Ian Lee Amis and Paul Phillips. In fifth place, number 25, Colin Blackburn and Martin Bailey. And in sixth place, number 184, John Hiscock and Simon Wall. The winner's time of 1 minute 26 and 2 fifths seconds, returning an average speed of 59 points, 49, sorry, 0.6 miles per hour. Number Thank you, Martin. Race 31, then. The six qualifiers for the final. Number four, Simon Beard with Stuart Supple in the chair. Number 41, Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes. Number seven, Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Number ten, Clive Willis and Richard Webb. Number one, two, three, Paul Moorcock and Scott Dunn. And number 23, Tony Stark and Darren Wood. So those six riders come to line. First crew up, number ten, Clive Willis and Richard Webb. They're followed... 
Over on the far side by Simon Beard and Stuart Supple, riding number four. Then next to the line, we got 123, that's Paul Moorcock and Scott Dunn. Then Barry Bennett, number seven, and Steve Tong. And as I said earlier, Barry Bennett, uh, a long, long trip uh, over here today. He comes from Newtown in Mid Wales, his passenger Steve Tong from Telford. And as we look across the paddock, we see Tony Stark and Darren Wood making their way to the start line and the last crew to uh, come up to the line are going to be And uh, last crew of the line, Keith Richards and uh, Gareth Bernister. So, one crew that aren't on the line, I think the one that we're missing, that uh, the place that Keith has taken is... Uh, one of missing, anyway. Where we go, the final of the final. Into the first turn, Bally Bennett right on the inside. But as they go round that first turn, Clyde Willis showing on the outside as they go down the back straight for the first time. It's Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes in the chair with number 10, Clyde Willis and Richard uh, Webb in second place. Willis trying to come on the inside. But into the top turn, it is still Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes leading from Clyde Willis there in second place. And things getting very, very close at the front. And Willis trying to go on the inside as they go into the paddock turn for the second time. And it looks as though Clive Willis is going to come out in the lead. Clive Willis and Richard Webb then. They lead it. From number 41, Chris Aldridge, Gary Hughes behind them. It is Simon Bird, Stuart Supple, Barry Bennett up there as well in fourth place. That's the leading bunch, but uh, now he's got to the front. Clive Willis and Richard Webb, they really are pulling away 20 metres up. Into the bottom turn for the third time, a lap and a bit to go. Willis it is the lead then. Tremendous battle for second place. Trying to get through on the inside, Tony Stark and Darren Wood. So Tony Stark and Darren Wood trying to get that second spot. But no luck at the moment, Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes still holding it. But in anybody's race for second place, tremendously tight on the bottom turn for second. No doubt about the way to Clyde Willis and Richard Webb, second place. Well, Barry Bennett nearly stole it, but I think Chris Aldrey and Gary Hughes just got the second place. With Barry Bennett and Steve Tong coming from absolutely nowhere on that last turn to, I think, get third place. We'll leave that up to the lap scorers because it was very, very close. But no doubt about the winner, Clive Willis and Richard Webb, crew number 10. Right, give the boys a round of applause. Tremendous 500 tie car final. And uh, first man round, the guy who finished third. Barry Bennett and Steve Tong. Following them round there, Tony Stark behind Tony Stark, Chris Halsbury. And we got the winners, Clyde Willis and Richard Webb. Keith Richards and Gareth Bevister. And Paul Moorcock and Scott Dunn. But the official result of Race 31, sponsored by Maxi's Taxi, Maxi's Tyres, I should say, a win there for number 10, Clive Willis and Richard Webb. In second place, number 41, Chris Salisbury and Gary Hughes. In third place, number 7, Barry Bennett, Steve Tong. In fourth place, number 23, Tony Stark and Darren Wood. In fifth place, number 143, the reserves who came in, Keith Richards and Gareth Bevister. And in sixth place, number one, two, three, Paul Moorcock and Scott Dunn. So uh, Simon Beard was the non-starter in that final, sponsored by Max's Taxis. The time for race 31 was 1 minute 28, 1 minute 28, a speed of 48.7. And those numbers again are 10, 14, sorry, 10, 41, 7, 23, 143, 
and one, two, three. Could we have Dave Collins, Dave Collins to the Pitts Caravan, please? Dave Collins to the Pitts Caravan, please? This is race 32, the international 500cc solo final. The man with the track marker flags takes some to the top bend, please. The man with the track marker flags takes some to the top bend, please. Race 32, International 500cc Solos. We look for number one, Jason Bunyan, and he's here already. Number six, Jeremy Doncaster is with him. Number 152, Matt Reed. Those of you who are not too sure about this, the top point scorer gets choice of starting grid. That's why they come up in order. So, after Matt Reed, it's 25, Martin Williams, and he's just coming up to the line now. Then we should get number 100, Junus Cole McCorpy, who rides, of course, for Inner Essex. I was just testing earlier on when I said Ipswich. Who is this side of the pipe? Not my side. 95, the long-distance traveller, Jason Handley. Then 170, Mark Taylor. Another man who's covered a good distance, I can tell you. And then 110, Stevie Dorr. Local lad. Stevie, never say die, Dorr. He'll fight to the finish in every race. So, race 32, looking very interesting here. Place your bets. Jason Bunyan looks the favourite on the top points. Jeremy Doncaster, you could never keep a good dog down. Matt Reed, hungry for a few victories in his early part of his career. Martin Williams returning back to the grass. He'd love to have it. Junus Cole McCorby, not a regular on grass, but perhaps he'll become one now. Jason Handley, well, he needs no introduction, does he? He can go like he went to the Barks Bonanza. He can take this. And there's Mark Taylor and Stevie Dorr. Jason Handley going round the outside in the second place and Jeremy Doncaster in third. Oh, can he relieve her? That means we're stopping. Oh, there's a big pile up on that first turn and I'm afraid to say it looks like Stevie Dawes at the bottom of it. That means we're stopping. Oh, there's a big pile up on that first turn, and I'm afraid to say it looks like Stevie Dawes at the bottom of it. Sure, not sure who the other lad is. In those blue letters. Could be Martin Williams. Looks like it is Martin Williams, because I can't see him around this side. Well, there you go. Uh, didn't see any of that. Thought it was all clear around the first turn, but obviously not. Motorcycle Yamaha, I believe, R197, and it looks like XKL, no, XLL, or it could be VLL, because it says VLL, it's written across this air ambulance thing, and it wasn't written on the white bit. R197, VLL, you've left your lights on. Unless you want to be bump starting it before you go home, you might want to go and just turn that uh, key round. R197, and I think it's VLL, a Yamaha motorcycle, you've left your lights on. And uh, what did the other man say to me? The other man said to me that the food vans will be packing up one hour after the last race. So you've got a bit of time to get an extra burger if you want one before your long journey home. The food vans are staying open one hour after the last race. And for the campers and the non-drivers, for the campers and the non-drivers, the beer tent is open until 10.30. I thought I was going to get a hooray for that. I thought it might have been a cheer. But never mind, perhaps you're all drivers or um, teetotalers or something. <laughs> so, be a tent open until 
Sunday licensing hours, you know. And uh, the food vans are prepared to go on for one hour after the close of racing. So you can get a, a, a bit of hot food before you go home if you want it. Race 32 then, the International 500cc solos, we have Jason Bunyan, Jeremy Doncaster, Matt Reed, Martin Williams, Judas Carver Corpy, Jason Handley, Mark Taylor and Stevie Dore. That's the line up for this one. Martin Williams, the last one, come up to the line there at the moment. So we had a bit of straightening to do. Well, here we go then. That the second time we're asking. Jeremy Doncaster not happy. Jeremy Doncaster pulls back in. Jeremy Doncaster ready. Start a happy. Here they go. Down the straight into the corner. Who's he going to be? Jason Handy makes a scourge around the outside. Can he get right the way round that he's there? His wheels are in front. And my northern compatriot is jumping off his seat at the side of me. And Jason Handling looks like he's unstoppable from this distance. He's well underway there. But he's got some talent behind him in Jeremy Doncaster and Jason Bunyan. Yeah, they Jason Round they go then. Doncaster's gone through on the inside. Carl mccorpy has gone past as well. And the Carl McCorpy's on the back wheel now of uh, Jeremy Doncaster. Jason Handley down to third. And uh, number six, Jeremy Doncaster was taken by Julius Carl McCorpy. Julius Carl McCorpy makes his first outing on the grass and walks the field with them. He's pulling away from Jeremy Doncaster down that back straight. Throws it sideways into that corner again. He'll see the last lap flag as he comes out of his turn. He's well clear, but Jeremy Doncaster hasn't given up yet. On to the last lap they go then. Julius Carl McCorpy from Jeremy Doncaster. And then Jason Handy in third, then Matt Reed in fourth, and then Jason Bunyan in fifth. Out of the last turn then, the chequered flag is all his, it's Junius Carl McCorpy that comes through, who's fell off? Second is uh, six, Jeremy Doncaster, then Jason Handley, then Junius, Jason Bunyan, and then Mark Taylor. So it's Matt Reed that we lost, but I can see that he's up on OK. Stevie Dorn now trickles across the line, he's not quite a shadow of his former self in that one. And Martin Williams bringing up the rear. Official result in a jiffy or two. Yeah. Earlier on, uh, we mentioned about these. Uh, oh, I didn't know. I didn't get to mention them, did I? The uh, past masters races happening at the third of August meeting with the Mason Aces. So, uh, does anybody that fancy to go in that, would they please go and see Catherine by Bob's videos at the end of the meeting? Race 32, the International 500cc solos. A win there for number 100, Junus Karmakorpi. Well done on his first grass outing. That'll make the rest of them sit up and look, won't it? In second place was number 6, Jeremy Doncaster. Third place was number 95, Jason Handley. Fourth place, number 1, Jason Bunyan. Fifth place, number 170, Mark Taylor. Sixth place, 110, Stevie Dore. And seventh place, number 25, Martin Williams. The winner's time was 1 minute 19 and 3 fifths seconds, giving an average speed of 53.8 miles per hour. Very important race because the winner of this one will go forward to the European final as the reserve competitor. So, it is important for all competitors to ensure they finish first or try to finish first. The lineup then for the B final. We have number two, Mark Detz and Gerald Elsink. Number four, Alphonse Fugel and Franz Hoibo Huber.
<laughs> Number five, Gavin Schumann and Hessel Ovima. Number eight, Jurgen Michel and Stefan Muller. Number 11, Albert Reisfeld and Eric van Dijk. And number 13, Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. I was going to say they're all going to sleep to my right, but uh, I think they've just woke up. So what a tremendous afternoon it would be if Wayne got through to the uh, European final as the reserve competitor. Right, the six in the A final who have got through. Uh, we'll give you those in a few minutes. We are concentrating on race number 33. Remember, the winner will go through to the European final as reserve. So, number two, Mark Detz. Number four, Alphonse Fugel. Number five, Gerben Schorman. Number eight, Jürgen Michel. Number 11, Albert Reisfeld. And number 13, Wayne Reed. And uh, we have all six outfits circulating and up to the line. And uh, Wayne there, probably in uh, one of the biggest races of his career so far. So, who's it going to be? We've got one from Holland, one from Germany, another one from Holland, another one from Germany, another one from Germany. So it's three German competitors, two Dutch competitors, and one Brit in this one. So, riders lining up for the race 33, just two races to go, the last race of the day will be the A final for the European Sidecar Semi-Final Championships. But we're on race 33 at the moment. We're being inundated by ladies. Right, race 33. the first turn, we're looking for Wayne, he's there in about third spot at the moment, fourth spot, and Wayne really gets into a lot of trouble coming out of the top turn, but he's okay, he's still on his wheels, but he's back there in fifth place, so we're looking to our left, and it's extremely close as they come off the end, but leading, it is number eight, that's Jürgen Michel, in second place, we got Alphonse Pugo. But it's Michel from Fugel, and here comes Wayne Reed, and Wayne Reed all trying desperately to get into third place, and Wayne goes into third place. He's got a lot to do to get with the two leaders, but those two leaders virtually side by side as they come off the band. It's Jürgen Michel and Stefan Fugler in second place, Alphonse Fugel and Fritz Heubeluba, but Wayne Reed. Still there in third place, battling away. If he'd have had a better start, well, who knows what would have happened. But Wayne in third place at the moment as we go into the bottom turn with a lap and a bit to go. And Reed trying to come up the inside, but it's still out in front. Number eight, Jürgen Michel with Stefan Muller, the German crew, leading. Wayne Reed now up into second. Incredible ride for Wayne Reed. But it is going to be, I think, Jürgen Michel and Stefan Muller who go to the final as reserves. But as Wayne comes up the inside, he's still in with a chance, but no! The crew that go through, Jürgen, Jürgen Michel and Stefan Muller, they win it in second place. Wayne Reed and Clive Preston in third place. Alphonse Fugel and Franz Heubeluba. And behind them were Gerben Schroman and Hessel Ovima. But... The air horns blowing, and I'm sure they're blowing for young Wayne. What a tremendous ride that was. Dad's out in the A final, but uh, Wayne Reed coming through into that second spot after a poor start, but the winner, Jürgen Michel and Stefan Muller. Well done, Wayne. European sidecar semi-final B final. The winner from Germany, Jürgen Michel and Stefan Müller. In second place from Wimborne, Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. In third place from Germany, number four, Alphonse Fugel and Franz Heubeluba. 
in fourth place from Holland, Gavin Shawman and Hessel Ovima. In fifth place, number two from Holland, Mark Detz and Gerald Leesling. And in sixth place, in sixth place from Germany, Albert Reisfeld and from Holland, his passenger, Eric van Dijk. That race sponsored by DID Chains, a time 1 minute 28, 1 minute 28, a speed of 48.7. And the six top guys here today, they all go forward to the final. And um, the lineup is as follows. From the UK, well we read them as they come out, because they come out in the order in which they qualified. No, they're coming out uh, at random, apparently. So, we'll read them through. The qualifiers for the A-Final, race 34, from the UK. Number one, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. From France, we have Xavier Aurin and David Schimenard. From Germany, Thomas Kunert and Hermann Bacher. From the UK, we have Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. From Holland, we have Tiered Rookstra and Henko Vima. And from the UK, we have Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Well, last night, talking to the boys down the paddock, I, I said quite seriously, the top four today could be the three British crews uh, with Tommy Cunard. And, uh, well, gone. There's still a chance of that. Tommy Cunard, Brian Palmer. Lester Goodwin and Mike Reed, um, but I'm sure that number three, the French crew, Xavier Aurin and uh, David Chiminar, I'm sure they'll have some chiminade, I'm sure they'll have something to say about that, and uh, so will crew number nine, Sheard Wookstra from Holland. But last race of the day, away to go! Incredible start there. Thomas Cunard, absolutely the class of his own. 30 metres up as they go into the top turn. It's Cunard leaving the rest of them all pretty close together, but it's Cunard and back at his. In second place, it's Lester Goodwin in third place. It is Brian Palmer in fourth place. It's Mike Reed and the British crews, two, three and four at the moment. And the, the other two crews right at the back, but it's Tommy Cunard. Out in front for the bridge, two, three, and four. Leicester second, Raz third, and Mike in fourth place as they come off the bottom end for the second time. And Mike Reed coming under pressure from the French crew, Xavier Aurin and David Chiminard. But Mike Reed still just about holding that fourth spot. And come on, Mike. Back to the leader. It is the incredible German. Thomas Cunard with Herman Backer in the chair. In second place still, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens, Rance Palmer and Danny Hogg, and Mike Reed. Come on, Mike. Mike Reed at the moment just struggling a little bit, gets past. They go down the back straight for the last time, and it looks as though Mike Reed is going to finish perhaps in fifth place. But we look to our left, the winner of the final. Big Mini! Here he goes. Thomas Cunard and Herman Backer. As I said earlier, that guy, I think he's the only man in the world that can do that. Absolutely incredible. So, Kurnard and Backer, they win it. There we see, as expected. In second place, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. Following them, Raz Palmer. And behind Raz Palmer was Xavier Aldin. And behind him was uh, number nine, Sheard Wustela. And uh, Mike Reed coming in sixth. But here we go again. <laughs> that is incredible. Please don't knock our fence down. Um, like I said earlier, the passenger actually, it's his first race uh, this year. He's a solo rider. He used to passenger outfits, but uh, he has um, stood in today. Here we go again. This guy just loves doing these wheelers. But uh, what a character. Four times European champion, five times German champion, third in 2002. But these are the guys that are the heroes as far as we're concerned. All the British crews, well done boys. Well done to everybody. Mike Reed qualifies for Europe. And Raz doing donuts. Hey! A new attraction, Raz and his donuts. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a point. Maybe he's practicing to make donuts, see, uh, when he packs up. As Martin said, he may be going to sell donuts. Yeah, good point. So we're giving you the official result of the last race of the day, race 34. As soon as I've uh, calmed down and taken it from the lap scorers. Final, a win there for number six, Thomas Cunard and Herman Backer. In second place, number one, Lester Goodwin and Andy Stevens. In third place, number nine, Brian Palmer and Danny Hogg. In fourth place, number three, that's the French crew of Xavier Aurin and David Chiminard. In fifth place, number nine, and that's Cheered Wookstra and Henko Wima. And in sixth place, crew number 10, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. The time, 1 minute 26, 49.8, 49.8. <laughs> Brian Palmer and Danny Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Alan, the first man in, look. 
Round the turn then for the last time. There's the checkered flag and Jason Bunyan did it. Who led it down the back straight is absolutely three abreast. Lester Goodwin's there. And Lester has lost his passenger. So how around it all? Oh, someone's gone wrong with the corner there. Two outfits are over. Van. Here they come then, number 10. The old, old problems that Tony Starr wouldn't Tony Stark go on from the start. He powers away and up goes the yellow flag. We have two to Mike's tangled there together. Jeremy Doncaster looks like he's lost it this time on the inside. Very, very close at the front. The last turn of the race in the afternoon. No power down in that first turn. And it's Jason Bunyan that picks it up out of that turn. Jason Handley going round the outside in the second. The winner of the final. Big Front of me, but I didn't see quite.